Hey folks, JD here, and I've been saying it for a while and I'm finally doing it. Look at this. This is a little beauty. This is, yes you're right, it's not a quadcopter, it is a remote control car. I've started a new segment uh, where we look at remote control cars as well as quadcopters. Now, as I said in the unboxing video of this, nothing alters as far as it goes for the quadcopters. That's still going to be Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. But also now we have the unboxing of a racing car and the test rollout? I don't know, of uh, the uh, racing car or the uh, the four-wheel vehicle uh, on, th on the Friday. So let's talk you through this one. This is an amphibious vehicle, as you can see here by these treads. It is able to go on water, float on water, and obviously power itself through these little ridges here in the tyre. So it is quite large, it is, it is quite heavy, it has a waterproof battery case on the back here. It has a little water valve as well, so if you wanted it to float on the water then you could just open this, allow a little bit of water in there uh, and obviously then it would just float on top of the water. If you don't want to do that, you can just close that off and it is just a racing car. Now we also have 360 stunts and flips as well. So what I'm going to do, as I'm sure you've noticed, there's a little bit of Velcro there. Perfect for a run cam. So, so let's take it for a test. So, this is the transmitter. <laughs> that is quite crazy. We've got two dummy buttons up here. These are just false decorative buttons. They don't do anything. You've got your movement and your control buttons here. This, I'm sure we'll find out what that does, if anything, uh, but there's not actually listed as doing anything in the manual. So, it automatically binds, does this. So as soon as you turn it on, that's it. There's no noise, but you should now be bound. <laughs> okay, so to go forward you need these two buttons down. <laughs> and then to turn you just use one of the buttons. So, one of the forward buttons turns you, uh, turns you left, the other one turns you right. Both together takes you straight on. If you were to then use both of the back buttons, that reverses you. One of the back buttons spins you the other way. Oh yeah! Now then, what I'm going to do is be a little bit careful with this geezer as well, because he does flip. This is really quite fun. And this click wheel does nothing. That's a shame. But still. So we're just going to give it a little bit on the tarmac here. Then we're going to crash it slightly, turn it around, take her onto grass and see how she performs on grass. Shouldn't be much of an issue. Oh, right as you look at it turns you left and left as you look at it turns you right. But yeah, this thing just trundles along. Look at it go. <laughs> all in all though, he really is trundling along really quite quickly. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for the tarmac. Let's take him on some water, see how he does. All right, so. This guy is pretty tough. So he is a proper all terrainer <laughs> So, let's take him through this little Ford in front of us here. So the Ford has swollen a little bit due to the weather we've been having recently. Or should I say last night? So, first test didn't work because obviously I didn't have the ballast tank open. Let's open this ballast tank and let's take her out now. This should allow the water then to, some of it to go into a little water uh, tight compartment inside her and then allow her to then <laughs> swim through the water exactly as she's doing. Look at that! Perfect! Perfect. <laughs> okay, so you can see her jumping a little bit there. That's just where her, uh, her massive wheels are hitting some stones underneath. <laughs> oh, she's hit a bit of a current. Let's go and fish her out, I think. Let's bring her into the bank. Oh, no, she's doing it herself. Oh, fair play, this little guy. Come on! There we are, he's out of the current stream now. 
perfect. So what you're looking at, if you're going to charge this guy, this guy takes three hours to charge, which is a crazy amount for any remote control vehicle. But then what you do get is once you have charged it up for those three hours, you do get a whole 30 minutes of play. Come on in, come back to me. Perfect. Now obviously I didn't put the run cam underneath her because the run cam is not waterproof. So there we go, that's just the ballast tank there draining. So we'll just leave it drain for a little while. Yeah, this little guy, fair play. If you're after an all-terrain vehicle <laughs> that flips, does 360 stunts. Oh, he's, there we are, that was that problem I was talking about. He's just knocked himself off. So if I turn him over and then power him back on, there we go, yeah. So once he flips over, he does have the ability, if he hits a stone, he will knock himself off. Oh, there we are. So, all in all, I think for a first, first vehicle that isn't a quadcopter, this guy is pretty good. Okay, let's go for a verdict then. All right, well, this guy is fantastically good fun. As I say, charging time is three hours, but you do get 30 minutes of play out of that. The batteries sit in this watertight compartment here, but I think above all, even if you weren't to take this in the water, if you just wanted it as an all-terrain vehicle for gravel, light bits of grass, then it'll accomplish that without any issue. It'll just swim, it'll just fly over it without, again, any issue. Um, if you do take it in water, such as I have, make sure you bring a little towel with you just to dry it off. Uh, you don't want any of the parts, which most of them look to be plastic. Yeah, they don't... I was going to say you don't want anything to rust, but it does look as if it is 90% plastic, or the bits that do get exposed to the water anyway. You have a ballast tank underneath, so I did try to put this directly in the water without opening the ballast tank. I'm sure, as you saw, the back end just went straight down, because that is the heaviest part due to the battery. Open the ballast tank, and then the water will flood inside this little compartment here, allowing you to then use this on water. Now we have got a little bit of a current here, it's not obviously not a lot, it is just a little river, but at the same time this was powerful enough to get out of that and to come back to me. So that is pretty good. So there we are folks, thanks ever so much for watching and listening, I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already please subscribe, hello and welcome to all the new subscribers, I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time my friends, happy racing!